We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. Before we begin today, I'd just like to mention that the product being discussed in this video comes courtesy of Roger at Burn Your Tongue. So major shout out to Roger for providing the product you're about to see today. Burn Your Tongue is a purveyor of fine, spicy products cleverly hidden in the Newgate Mall in Ogden, Utah. It's probably my favorite physical hot sauce shop, and I think it's the best of its kind. If you're within a 100 mile radius of Ogden, Utah, and you care at all about this type of thing, I definitely encourage you to drive and make the visit. It is well worth your time. Roger also has a Facebook page, which I'll put in the description below. Feel free to check him out there. And what this is, is Hot Winter Hatch Chili Hot Sauce. And it has a very small on the bottom here. And you can see where it's saying Hatch Chili Medium. So calling this medium, when the only pepper in there is the, well you can see for yourself. We've got certified New Mexico grown Hatch Chili, natural rice and cider vinegars, cane sugar, kosher salt, organic, Hard neck garlic. Now I don't know what hard, hard neck garlic is compared to like a regular garlic, but you can see here very definitely a green sauce, very, very, very runny. It's uh, honestly, I think in the review I said it's a bit more like a puree, and you guys can check that on the blog. The link will be in the description below. And you can see there as I pour it. It does appear to be more pureeish even now when I look at this. And let's see if we can get you an angle here. And then you guys can see it is, it looks like a, you know, honestly, like I said, just basically a puree more so than a hot sauce. And, um, and let's get to it. So we have really a strong, as you would expect, chili, hatch chili flavored right out of the gate. We get the we get the explosion of that taste. A little back into garlic, getting a little, definitely a little bit of the earthiness of the cider vinegar. What's interesting is you you're kind of expecting a lime or something astringent, and outside of the vinegar, there's not acetic acid or anything like that in this. So it is very tempered as far as the acidity, which which I do appreciate because you can go overboard on this pretty easy. Uh, no tomatillos, no lime. It is, I, I don't know that I would really call it more than a puree because it really isn't. I mean, I guess you could say it's a sauce, but it, it really just speaks to me more as just a puree with a, with a few other things kind of added in there, I guess, for balance a little bit. Uh, so if you like, the good news is that if you like hatch chilies, you're going to love this sauce. It is a really, really well blended, well crafted sauce. Heat is almost non-existent though. It's a hatch chili. So I'm not getting any, uh, honestly, anything. And I, I can't remember if I, if I gave it a zero or a one. Legitimately, I would say it's probably a zero. I'm not getting, I'm not getting any heat out of it uh, at all, even... You know, if you get the right garlic, you can catch a heap, you know, a little, little bit of a tinge from that, as, as, it, as we all know out there. Not even that. Not even that. So, to speak about what I was mentioning in the review, I've got a grilled chicken taco, and I've got a regular taco from Del Taco. 
And we're just gonna unwrap these and we're gonna sauce these up. Now, one of the things I was saying was this isn't super wonderful with the red meats and I'm just gonna throw it on this beef taco. And I'm just gonna have them both. And we've got here, this grilled chicken's got a little white sauce on it. There's nut sauce outside of that. So, we'll just get a little sauce on there. The nice thing about this is if you like to have heavy sauce on stuff, you can pretty safely go nuts with this without worrying too much about, you know, getting, getting trashed right out of the building. So, let's start with the beef taco first. It doesn't um, doesn't jive well with it. It's very clashy, so you get hits of this of the sauce, and it'll be just super super punchy. And then other times you'll get nothing, like it's not even there. Okay, to the chicken taco. Now, I want to preface this and say I don't like these tacos. I almost never get them because the flavoring that Del Taco uses, I, I don't find very good. But for our lighter meat demonstration, uh, I could have gone actually with a green bean burrito too, I suppose. But it, it was interesting to see, can this sauce... Resurrect a menu item I'm not a big fan of. Well, ugh. resurrection's a really strong word. Does it improve it? Yeah. Not to the point where I'd ever intentionally do this again, though. The things I do for you guys, I just hope you all appreciate <laughs> the agony I put myself through. Oh, man. Del Taco. Most of their stuff is pretty solid, but sometimes they get some misses, and when they miss, like with the tamales, they miss hard. This, this is no exception, this chicken, grilled chicken taco. I wish I could place that flavor. Because for the life of me, I can't figure out how they get it to be that awful. So, it's not a sauce that will fix a weak base. So if, you if you're having something that with a weak base to begin with, the sauce isn't going to do it. What I think you could really do with some cool stuff with this is, you could use it in place of an enchilada sauce, I think, pretty easily. Uh, again, lighter meats. If you have good chicken tacos, uh, fish tacos, it'd be good there. But I think its application, honestly, is a bit limited because, like I said, it's much more of a puree than it is uh, an actual sauce. Still, it is very, very well done. And I'm not unhappy with the sauce at all. It just it, it fits an area, I guess, I just don't have a lot of demand for. I guess that's the best way of saying it. But there it is. Our look at the hot winner Hatch Chili Hot Sauce. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.